What is up, YouTube? Bringing you a another Black Terry on my one life. That's it. I cannot die, so it's, I gotta play this game a lot slower than the way I would usually play it. I think last episode we came back here to get some much needed H2O. Hello. And now we're gonna go meet Trudy. And hopefully survive on what's to come next. Ooh, look at this. Wild Wasteland. What time is it? It is 9.08 or I think 8.08 Let's see what the note says. Murder at large. Henry Jamison. Okay, so there has been a murder in Good Springs. One of our own has been killed. Henry Jamison is the victim, aged at 29. And with a bright future ahead of him, his light was surely put out too soon. Anyone, and I mean anyone willing to investigate this tragedy and help bring the culprit to light, will be very handsomely rewarded. Going after murders right now probably isn't the best idea let's go talk to chat m1a safe locked hard if i can get in that i deserve to keep it yeah it's it's getting dark You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. All right, let's see what you have for Can sale. Do. One of the things I'm going to need is a portable bedroll a backpack would be nice too There's no, nothing I can really sell him. I don't really have anything. I will put on that hat though. Take it easy now.
This is the best I got for right now. Alright. I need to get a team if I want to survive the wasteland. And I was thinking about not getting BMF, but BMF would actually be very useful. Or maybe I can get... See, like I said, I was thinking about doing an uh, energy weapons character for the most part. Power armor and all that. And I'm having a robot army. Nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, Sniper rifle? I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Howdy. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, come on, Trudy. You have me sit down and then you just walk away? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Okay. Where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. So what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. And... Who in the world are the powder gangers? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Was a big escape not too long ago. No, that seems Some like of them stuck together so they can make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. So, let me get this straight. The NCR willfully gave powder gangers explosives. Sounds like a setup. Maybe done as some type of experiment? I don't know. All right. Be careful out there. Let's see. Energy weapons. We'll get that up. Explosives, we'll get that up. Sneak, we'll get that up as well. No perk. Uh, Vats is not gonna happen. Rapid reload will be useful right now, and I gotta turn off the. Let's go ahead and get. Hello there! I'm Cotsworth. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. How may I help you? I'm assuming you work for Trudy. What's that like? You've no idea how wonderful it is to have someone to serve again. My life's work of servitude may finally resume. Okay, but Trudy doesn't seem to like robots. Yes, she is quite good when it comes to being unpleasant. You should serve somebody that doesn't that doesn't appreciate. Uh, you shouldn't serve somebody that doesn't app I appreciate you. I suppose you're right. Yeah, you should come but with me. Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. Stay with me, buddy. Why don't you come and serve me? Oh, sir. I can think of no greater honor 
I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but a little help couldn't hurt. I think we should travel together. Proud to serve, sir. All right. So I'm gonna check and see what that perk does. Yeah, and here in just a second. Even. It's quiet enough to hear the old gears spinning as they say. Man, she is loaded. Look at that. And it is darker than I don't know what out here. I'm gonna have to find night vision goggles as soon as possible. Alright, Doc, I'm using your bed. Yes, I can sleep in own beds now. We'll wait 12 hours. And hopefully... Oh, Doc has a sink. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Oh, definitely not, Cosworth. I think we should have a, a team of misfits. I think BMS should come with us too. Why not? He's just super mutant. I'm gonna go see what he's about. I'm gonna go see what he's about. I think he's gonna be very useful to my cause. And I should have got survival up a little bit so I don't get hungry and stuff as fast. But I'm doing pretty good on hunger right now. But for the beginning, I'm going to focus on sneak a lot as well. But also survival and BMF. Let's see what he's about. Motherfucker? Okay. What brings you to Good Springs? Motherfucker. B BMF waves his arms and gesticulates gesticulates for several awkward moments, efforting in vain to convey his motives for loitering in Good Springs. You eventually reach the conclusion that he seeks to have a have canal knowledge of a death claw or other horn fauna. Okay? You don't say much, do you? Motherfucker. Uh, how was the weather? Motherfucker. You wish for a nuclear winter as well? Uh, would you mind if I ask you some personal questions just to get to know you? Motherfucker. I'm taking that as okay. Tell me about your family. Motherfucker. Okay, your childhood? Motherfucker. Okay, did you ever fall in love? Motherfucker. I, I I feel that one. I I, I do. I, I relate to that on a on a personal level. <laughs> Did she break your heart? Motherfucker. <laughs> Will you ever love again? Motherfucker. Do you regret your decision? Motherfucker. I regret. Uh, I'm not gonna get into all that. Uh. Anyways. Uh, I, I think that's it. We should travel together. I relate to you on a personal level. Alright, we got two new perks. And this is our team right now. We got Cosworth and BMF. We are building the squad. We are building the squad. Okay. Um, perks, right. Smash perk, obviously unarmed. That's not going to do much for me. And then the robot sympathy. Five uh, damage threshold against robots, which is good. So we're going to go talk to Ringo here in the gas station. 
see if we can help him out of his jam. I'll need those. In reality, BMF is really going to be a pack mule for me. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. I don't see you got off gun. to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Uh, I don't want to play caravan, but I do want to help you with a man named Joe Cobb, and I hear he's looking for you. Yeah, he doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I can handle all of them in a gunfight. Alright, so what are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Okay, maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Yeah, she is a bit friendly. Ooh. Can I take that? Yes, I can. Surgical tubing could come in handy later on down the line. I'll take any water I can get. Floor safe, easy. Ammo, that is considered stealing. Maybe I can... Okay, there we go. Take all of that. It is food. We're not going to get everybody on board, but we do have a lot of people in town at the moment. I'm thinking about just getting Sunny Smalls on board. But in all honesty, if we look, we got all these people here outside. But I guess maybe I can try to get Trudy. No, my speech is too low for me to get Trudy. Barter and speech is too low. Speech is at zero, so can't do anything about that. Looks like it's just going to be Sunny Smalls. And, uh, m me. Okay, so this guy has been hey walking around the, uh, let's see what he has. Okay, well, he decided to sit down and get back up. And then change seats. Guess he didn't want to sit with that dude. Why, well, hello there. You wouldn't happen to be some man, uh... Hard gun, would you? Well, I'm not really that kind of thing, but I guess I could do it. Well, that is fortunate, because I happen to have some work that'll suit you well. Interested? Okay. That's fair enough. The job is this. Kill a man named Joey Burke. He was in the NCRCF before the breakout and is now a member of the Powder Gangers. This man is responsible for the death of my daughter. I was able to rest a little easier knowing he was locked up, but now he's free. I'll pay you handsomely for completing this task. 200 caps are yours once he's dead. I'll take the job. That's good to hear. I've already discovered Joe's location, so all you need to do is go down and put a bullet in him. He's hiding out in one of the old bunkers in Hidden Valley with a few other gang members. Now head over there and don't return till he's dead.
Hey there. Oh yeah, Sunny. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I need your help to fight off Ringo and the rest of the Powder Gangers. Say no more. I'm in. Look at that. That was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. I'll be waiting. We might be able to get Doc Mitchell to help. I mean, giving, asking for extra stim packs would be nice. Trudy is going to be hey. nearly impossible for me to even get. I should have turned that off a long time ago. I think we're looking only at Sonny Smalls right now and Doc Mitchell. Maybe he'll let me. The Doc was nice enough to patch me up. I'm sure he'll be nice enough for this. Plus, going back to the gas station is on the way to Doc's house. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Um, the town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Yep. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. See, Doc is just a good dude. You take care now. You don't need a speech check or anything. Doc is just a good dude. He's just a good dude. Pete's doing housework. No, I was thinking about making this a very immersive run by taking out the music all together and just listen to the sounds around me. Which actually might be useful for a permadeath so I can hear what's coming, like footsteps and stuff. Sound may be off next episode. As in music, not sound, but music. Easy Pete's not happening. Chet, barter skills too low. It's not happening. Oh, then we're going the wrong way then. Let's go back and talk to Chet. Tell him we're ready. And I'm going to get in a position to where I can't get shot. I'm not going to be able to kill anybody right now. What do I got loaded? That The recoil on that is too much. I'm gonna have to steal some weapons from someone somewhere. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny is with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Alright, I don't care how many there are. Let's go. You guys are going to do it. I'll be it. set up near the store. You can do Let's it. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. You guys can do it. We gotta survive this battle. And I'm not... I think I'll make my way to the Mojave Outpost after this. If I survive what I need to do.
Oh, there we go. I got stuck in my companions. That happens sometimes. Don't know why, but it does. Alright, you guys handle it. I'm gonna stand back here behind this trash can. I don't have anything that's even remotely close to taking these things out. You guys go, fight. Go. Oh, I gotta remember, they got explosives. Oh, come on, you guys. You guys could do a little bit better than that. Yeah, you guys go fight. BMF, go. You're the strongest out of all of us. I got two grenades, but I don't want to chunk grenades and hit somebody I'm not supposed to. BMF, why you coming to me? Why you coming to me? You're a super mute. Don't... I can't get close. I can't heal during battle either, so I can't just straight up use a stim pack. Okay, maybe I can make this. All right, they're pushing up. Recoils too much on this weapon. I gotta get my strength up. Okay, there's one more left, y'all. There it is. Alright. Good job, you guys. Ringo! He's dead. Man, that's a shame. People died in the battle, man. That is a shame that he did die, but it is what it is. I can sell all the stuff I don't need. Cheyenne, Sunny. They all seem to have this Barrett 95 scope though. No oh, man, I love Sunny. She was good she was a good woman. Ringo's head got blown off. Man, it's sad, man. But, you know. I gotta do what I can to save the town and, you know. Hopefully Chet is still alive and I can sell this stuff. Better armor though. Pocket's able to carry more than you, eh? Well. I guess that's what it is, man. Living the life like this, man. It's the wasteland, man. It's a hard life. So, BMF, I gotta say, terrible performance. At least Cosworth got out there. You're not supposed to be hiding and cowering behind me. Oh, 
But we're still alive. Before we leave, we will go talk to Doc Mitchell and tell him to heal us. But we made an enemy of the Powder Gangers. They're, we're, we're shunned. I don't know if that means they'll attack on sight. But we're not vilified yet. So maybe it doesn't mean that. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass. I didn't on. actually kill anybody or shoot anybody, so I mean I did throw the grenade. Can do. Man, you had a lot more money than that when I came here earlier. Let me sell some of this stuff. I have three Barrett 95 scopes. I'm not gonna be able to get anything else from you, am I? Weapons I'm not going to use. Single shotgun. I'll have to keep the varmint rifle for now. Cavalry breeder I'll have to keep for now. I really need to get barter up so this stuff doesn't cost that much. Like I said, I am going to need a portable bedroll and a campfire. I know I have, maybe I can use a uh, backpack as well. Oh, his backpacks aren't there. Ten millimeter pistol. It is in good shape. Grenade rifle. I'm not gonna use. Guns plus two. Guns, Explorer's Backpack. Guns plus 15, AP minus. That AP goes down, but it is decent. Service Rifle, Reforge. Voice Modulator Implant. Shout if you need anything else. Take it easy now. Okay. This is better. I don't look that bad, to be honest. I'm going to go ask the Dr. Hillis real fast before we move on from Good Springs. It's a shame that Sonny died. I'm assuming Cheyenne died as well. You know, most of my playthroughs, I make sure to keep them alive, but I can't, I can't play like that anymore. I'm over encumbered. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Weapons I'm not going to use. I don't look that bad, to be honest.
nothing good in the mailboxes. And we're gonna make our way up. Mojave Outpost. We're putting the team together. So I think we're gonna go and get. How are you holding up? I need you to heal me. Sure, I can help you out. Okay, hold still. Alright, we're healed. Now we just gotta make it all the way up to the Mojave Outpost. And then from there, I don't know where I'm gonna go. Let's check the map. If I'm correct, the Mojave Outpost is this way past Prim so we'll be going to Prim too I guess I guess it's t at that time to make our way up to Prim I don't really have enough ammo or anything with me I guess We'll just have to see how this goes. All right. I think that's this would be a good, good place to uh, end it. And these episodes are going to be coming out rapidly. Next episode, we will make our way to Prim, do the things there, and as well as make our way to the Mojave Outpost.